and kept avoiding the consultative process with us. Despite we being an enormous pain in, at the head of commercial banks and bearing excruciating, excruciating uh, financial losses, it has been the tradition of, of the apex body of uh, trade and industry of Pakistan to interact with the State Bank of Pakistan to review the fiscal and the monetary policies, economic growth, credit expansions, performance of the various sectors of the trade and industry of Pakistan. Uh, please, Puri, keep the bigger picture in mind. We all want that interest rates are down. We all want that uh, Pakistani rupiah is strong. We all want that our uh, current account deficit will come in the end. But this is not magic. If we do something, it will happen. We have to sacrifice a little bit. First of all, I would like to tell you that our problems are some of our own policy mistakes and some are global. If you ask me, I would say that it is about half-half. So I will try to uh, confine myself to the current issues instead of giving a long speech and I request the businessman as well to be brief and put forward short questions so that we can utilize the maximum time in a productive discussion. I must draw your kind <coughs> attention to serious challenges faced by the manufacturers due to unprecedented pocket park rupees depreciation and shortage of the US dollars for import payments. The banks have been delaying the release of dollars payments against the LCs, LCs and banks' uh, contracts for weeks and in some cases even months. Citing the reason as of waiting for an approval from the state bank, consequently, the manufacturers are facing the following dire challenges. Number one, unbearable losses on all tenders and contracts due to more than 25% depreciation of Pak rupees in a very short time. Number two, debilitating shortage of industrial raw materials due to the delay in import payments and release of raw materials consignments. It is causing industrial units to slow down their production processes and in some cases shutting down the production. Huge port and shipping line penalties and damages due to such delays in the release and return of containers. These circumstances warrant an immediate set of action by the government of Pakistan and the state bank to save the importers. APCI requests you to kindly consider implementing the following remedial measures immediately. So number one, allow commercial banks to release all imported goods under LCs and bank contact or otherwise. Number two, advise the government to announce price adjustment for all pending contracts and tenders by adjusting 80% of the quoted price to the US dollars rate as of July 31st, 2022. Number three, advise the government to announce an eight week extension in the delivery dates for all existing and future contracts where deliveries were due after July 1st. 2022. Number four, advise the government to permit and facilitate a waiver of port and shipping lines, penalties, and damages on shipments stuck due to the prevalent uh, circumstances. Number five, condition of prior approval from the state bank required by the commercial banks on imported items with excess scores starting with 84 and 85. Which cover, uh, which cover tractors and other agricultural machinery should be immediately lifted. Due to the historically unprecedented and astronomical trade deficit of 48.2 business, he wishes to know whether the State Bank is in a position to arrange substantial liquid foreign exchange to keep the economy, debt servicing and imports afloat in the year ahead. So we wanted to know how much total debt services is due in the physical year 2022 20, 20, and 23, how much interest payments are due and how much bond payments need to be made. Dear businessmen, now I would like to put forward a few 
omnipresent and critical collective concern of the businesses, industry and trade community of Pakistan to draw the kind attention of the government sought for their resolution in the larger national interest and for the sake of growth in, in exports in particular and the economy in general. So number one, cross-border trade in Iran and Afghanistan. So being the representative of trade industry of Pakistan, I have faced many challenges in which to satisfy and ensure confidence in my business community on the various problems. <coughs> one of the major issues that my business people are facing is cross-border trade. They usually ask about the role of SBP when they become unable to trade with even our neighbors of Afghanistan and Iran. Is there any mechanism to promote export and import transactions? Sometimes it happens that they do not receive ENI forms without providing any reason. So number two, banking channel. Due to non availability of banking channel, the export and import of Pakistan are not increasing, particularly within the region. I remember once the government and SBP announced to operate banking channels with Iran, but no progress is seen while we are both Iran and Pakistan are important partner of OIC, ECO, SEO, etc. Banking is indispensable, most important for enhancing our global trade. Number three is the alternate payment mechanism for trade without or bypassing dollar. I think there should be some mechanism like currency swap or other alternative where we do not need to demand or pay and receive exports and import procedures proceeds in dollar terms. So I know it's difficult uh, due to the pressure of IMF, but fixed dollar rate for trade. My business community maintains that due to vol vol volatility in dollars exchange rate, they are the worst affected and direct sufferers. The value of the dollar for the traders should be fixed so that business businessmen can calculate export and imports accordingly. So you should apprise us that which policy tools are at the disposal of the state bank to manage the historic volatility and speculation in rupee dollars parity. Number two, primary role of SBP. The SBP Act mandates the bank to regulate the monetary and the credit system of Pakistan, ensure price stability, exchange rate, monitoring, etc. However, it is observed that inflation has risen to a very high level and it is fear that poverty level will increase which will ultimately cause law and order in crime etc. Rising trends in dollar exchange rate, it seems that SPP is weakening its control over, over the dollar rate. <coughs> Banks are either not providing dollar or giving with high rates. मैं एक मेरे पास एक साहब का फोन आया मुझे वो कहते हैं कि जी मैंने रेट अभी पता किया बैंक से किसी कमर्शियल बैंक का नाम लिया मैं उसमें नाम नहीं लेता तो उन्होंने कहा जी मैंने उससे रेट मांगा तो उन्होंने मुझे रेट दिया 200 सौ था कि दो सौ बीस टू ट्वेंटी मैं टू ट्वेंटी दिया तो उसके बाद तो मुझे क तो उसकी वजह से लोग जो है ना एक अपसेट है कहते हैं कि कुछ समझ नहीं आ रही ये चीजें किस तरह से कंट्रोल हो रही हैं किस तरीके से इसको देखा जा रहा है सर प्रायर अप्रूवल फ्रॉम एसबीपी फॉर ओपनिंग एसीज इट हैज बीन इंस्ट्रक्टेड फ्रॉम एसबीपी दैट शेड्यूल बैंक्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू टेक प्रायर अप्रूवल बिफोर ओपनिंग ऑफ एसीज कंसर्निंग द गुड्स फॉलोइंग अंडर चैप्टर 84 एंड 85 Prior approval forex from State Bank of Pakistan may sense on the banned goods or luxurious item, but in case of imports under Chapter 84 and 85, this decision will disrupt the supply chain of the many items, including perishable items such as fruits and vegetables, etc. So the second is the policy rate. Policy rate of 15 percent is not is uh, is only anti-business, but it is also anti-growth. Sir, so can I ask uh, where you, uh, where you, uh, were you able to control the inflation after raising the policy rate to a 14 years high of 15 percent? Number two, are you 
globalization, globalization, that how much is the policy rate in China, India, and Malaysia? Malaysia is 2.25 percent. I think China is 3.5 percent, and India is uh, they 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 move a little bit. Uh, it, it was four and now it's 4.5 most probably. Why can't we have a negative policy rate to keep the trade and industry going like many regional, sub-regional and international countries? In America, the inflation is in 9.1, but they didn't increase uh, a little bit, very little, about quite something. They increased uh, from 1.25 to 1.75 uh, or 1.65, something like that. The commercial banks' manipulation in LCs and T-bills. Commercial banks have been involved in the speculative trading of dollars in the most crucial time and have been making unfair landfall profits and made the importers suffer like never before. What the state bank has done about it? Manipulation by commercial banks in matters of T-bills operation is causing huge public loss, which is evident from the statement of former finance minister that the State Bank of Pakistan has failed to control the manipulation by the banks over t bills operation in the recent past, the last regime. So, so in the last, as you are aware that being the National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the FPCI on the board of various national and interaction organizations and institutions, FPCI has advantage of maintain pool of all kinds of expertise and prestigiously invited to the to guide support and give expert opinion on running rules of businesses. Unfortunately this practice of including FSA in the State Bank of Pakistan board has been stopped. FSA should be on the SBP board so that policies could serve at the grassroots level. I conclude with the remarks of relative to Donald State Bank of Pakistan, Dr. Mujla Sayyid, for sparing time out of his busy schedule and visiting FPCI, providing us an opportunity to exchange views on the economic scenario of the country. I'm thankful to the distinguished senior management of SBP for joining business community <coughs> in this productive, consultative process. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>